the biggest reveal of all time dude i should even put this on camera my kids like wreck this thing and this the back of it come on bro yo what's going on youtube man i'm your boy rockzilla squad you already know what time it is today we're doing the biggest reveal of all time of all freaking time man listen well this is my biggest reveal of all time this reveal had the world shook dude when i tell you people were doing a plus b squared equals o trying to figure out who this was yes it's a character it's an anime character dude some people were pissed some people were glad and some people were like yeah i got it right and some people were just dead wrong and i'm one of those guys that was dead wrong we're just gonna put it like this we're talking about a man behind the mask they kept this character's identity hidden for i think over a year i want to say over a year maybe even more man we were multiplying, subtracting, adding, doing scientific astrology to figure out who this guy was. When I say what cartoon I'm talking about, you guys are already gonna know what I'm talking about. My boys from the JoJo squad, Kakyoin fan, Jotaro fan. I saw every episode of the anime, but I have yet to read the manga. Let me read this thing to you guys. Let's jump into this together. Figure out who I'm talking about, man. It's spoilers for some, and if it is, you know, once I say what this anime is, you go ahead and click off if you don't know who this character is i don't want to spoil anything so go ahead and click off yo thumbs up to the video please if you guys could join the squad you will be dude it's the best place to be right now unless you the samurai we're not Corey. you know we, we're trying to get like the samurai guy let's get to the video king crimson you guys already know what it is when i bring this picture up dude it's, it's a dead giveaway but wait Let's get into it because it might trick you. It just might trick you. Naruto Shippuden, chapter 599, Yuchiha Obito. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't know what that means. I know what it means, but I don't know what it means. Let's go. A young boy pursuing his dreams. So if you know Obito, Obito lived a life like really similar to Naruto. Really similar to Naruto. Take that picture, for example. That looks like Naruto in that picture. Ninja Academy interest documents. My boy Obito and Kakashi had this big feud. Obito like Rin and Rin like Kakashi. So, you know, man, my Obito was feeling some kind of way about it. Okay, so it's not a lot of reading in this manga chapter. But hey, we're gonna make up the best with it. Uh, Chunin exam, second stage team battle. We got the third and fourth Hokages in the building. We got the bracket set up for the team fights. Kakashi, Obito, Rin, and Guy and his crew. There goes Obito. We always helping the, uh, the the elderly and all that. You know how Obito get, man. Get carried away late to everything, helping the elderly. And which is a good thing. But it kind of held him back in a couple of ways. And look at Kakashi. He's mad at him because he's always late to everything. All right, round one, begin. Obito with the fireball jutsu. Bow! Not today. Guy Sensei now some sense into my boy. Look at Ren patching him up. Hey, that's the love of his life, man. That's my dude, man. What can you say? Okay. Ren and then still talking. He's like, hey, man, I'm a Uchiha. You're going to see my face on the side of one of these mountains one day. You already know how Obito is. He wanted the goggles and everything in the picture. Ren cheering him on. As always, probably like, nah, this ain't going to never happen. Okay. Obito in the building getting right for the next tuning exams. Doing all the practice and stuff. Fireball. Woo! Let's go. Oh my, dude, why do they keep matching Obito and Guy up, dude? Here we go again. <laughs> Come on. Hey, stop doing my dude like this, man. Fireball Jutsu. My boy Obito in the building with the, hmm? Nah, you going down this time, sucker. Guy like, hmm? Yeah, you mean that, right? Yeah, okay. Dang, Obito didn't last a second, dude. Come on, y'all got to stop doing Obito like that, bro. Come on. Kakashi is up next. And, you know, everybody's just like, yeah, go, Kakashi. Come on, we root for you. And of course, Ren down there cheesing and smiling. Cheeks probably pink as I don't know what in Obito. Like, come on, man. Where y'all was at when I needed it? Come on, where were y'all at? And he just looking. Like, Ren's supposed to be bae. That's my bae. Stop looking at my bae like that. Come on, dude. Kakashi had the hands. I'm not even going to say hands because Guy is the man. Guy is the man. I ain't even going to say hands. But Guy, unfortunately, got put down by Kakashi. And I ain't going to say unfortunately because Kakashi the man, too. Gotta believe it, you know, that go Ren. That's fine. Yes. We, we ain't trying to hear all that, man. You supposed to be with Obito. All right, Kakashi showing off. He got his little vest. And he got his little paperwork saying, yeah, yeah, he graduated. Cool, cool. Obito back with some more training. Training, training, training. I guess the fourth shooting exams happened. And my boy finally got what he wanted. And they're like, yeah, we're going to show Ren and Kakashi that I can do it too. My boy trying to surprise Ren and say, me and Kakashi are on the same level now. We finally got a little bit of reading here. To all the members in the same class as Kakashi, we are planning to celebrate his promotion to Jonin. Please prepare <laughs> this. Keep this a secret. Like, bro, come on, man. Y'all hurting Obito feelings. You hurting my feelings right now. I can 
feel the pain in this man's like expressions right now. But of course, you gotta support your uh, teammate. This is all part of Kakashi becoming a Jonin right now. Everybody was supposed to give him a gift. Rin gave him a medical kit, which Kakashi kind of like, yo, I don't, I don't need that. The fourth Hokage gave him one of his kunais, you know, the teleporting kunai. It came in handy. Obito, I ain't have nothing to give you, but he probably gave him one of the most valuable things in Kakashi's life. Without this, Kakashi would not be the man he is. Don't get me wrong, he is the truth, but. Without this piece that Obito gave him, he wouldn't be the same Kakashi. Okay, so this is Obito's death. He pushed Kakashi out of the way to save his life, save Ren's life. And guess what? We thought, we thought that this man was gone. We thought this man was gone. One half of his body crushed by the boulder. We thought this man was gone. We thought he was gone. And in that process, but hold on, let's rewind real quick. When that boulder dropped, you know, Obito was like, man, listen. You know, I apologize about everything, dude. You know, you really are a good friend. You know, Obito really brought Kakashi. He made Kakashi into a better person. Like, Kakashi was like, you know, hey, follow the rules, follow the rules. Forget the teammates. You know, forget the teammates. You know, it's all about the freaking rules. When Obito hit him with that, hey, your father was a true hero. He'll never abandon his friends. People that abandon his friends are trash. Wow, that's cool. That's neat. That line stuck with me. Okay, and in the process of Obito dying, he gave Kakashi his eye, which has Shorn going. That awoken a lot of Kakashi's abilities, which made him the uh, one of the best shinobi that the Hidden Leaf Village had. Don't get me wrong, the Hidden Leaf, super OP. Okay, so we back to the real timeline now. That was just the past. All of this chapter was pretty much just the past. Now let me get into it real quick. Hidden Leaf Shinobi are probably the most OP villages in North. Guy Sensei, Kakashi, Naruto, Killer B, all fighting this masked man and doing nothing. Doing nothing. Naruto and Kakashi had formulated this plan where, bro, Naruto made a Rasengan and Kakashi teleported him into the masked man's realm and BOW! Hit him with a level three. You see the mask chipped up down here at the bottom of the screen. You can't miss it. Okay, but that's all the damage you did. Bro, let's get to the next page. I think this is the reveal. Behind the freaking mask, Obito you Chiha. One of the biggest freaking reveals ever. Nobody thought that. We had a couple of people that theorized this, but man, people were way off. I was way off. I thought it was Madara's brother. You know, I just felt like, you know, his death was kind of like quick. I knew he was a Uchiha too. Um, bro, people thought it was, dude, like some kind of legendary master freaking, I don't know Uchiha, but bro, Obito Uchiha. Obito, it's finally surfaced. The name Obito. Who would have freaking thought? My man Kakashi was shooken up for like three chapters. Yes, it's Obito. Bro, the biggest reveal, in my opinion, of all time. They kept this man's identity a secret for the freaking longest. And I'll be honest, once his mask was taken off, like, bro, they kind of, like, depowered him. Because he wasn't as bad A as he was. Even though, I got to stand up, dude. That's one of my favorite Uchiha's. Obito is. I was glad, dude. I was glad they brought this man back. I'm your boy, Rockzilla, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you leave your boy a like, comment, subscribe? Tell me what you thought about the reveal. Did you like it? Was it a disappointment to you? Was it a waste of a character? You know, I thought it was awesome, man. I thought it was awesome. Yo, until next time, we out of here. Squawk!